What is up, T Raiders? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to cover several stocks that, you know, have fizzled off some, some that are heating up and some really good swing ideas. But, you know, before we jump into the video, make sure to shoot a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. All right, all right, all right. Happy Sunday, fun day. We're getting ready for the week. You know, you're kind of going over a watch list. So today, you know, I'm going through some stocks today just to kind of chat about them a little bit. Ones I'm in, you know, ones I'm not. It doesn't really matter. But, you know, just providing ideas for you guys. You know, a lot of people are working like, hey, you know, what's a good swing idea? You know, I'm not on social media that much. So, I, you know, I get a lot of messages and so forth. So I just wanted to cover, you know, several that I think are really good. Um, so WNFT, you know, we're going to cover that one. We probably covered a lot leading up to, you know, their catalyst as far as 811. Um, you know, of course, we want to get that taken care of. That way we can move on to the merger and so forth. But, you know, the reason this thing just fell off so bad, um, you know, when they actually had that news come out July 11 saying, hey, you know, there's going to be another court case and the stock gapped down and, you know, it gapped down so far, like five cents, you know. And it was just incredible. It's like 75, 80%. So, I mean, I think it's a huge opportunity. You know, it looks like we had a large shareholder, um, whether it was somebody that had restricted originally, unrestricted, you know, could have been the 75 million, just could have been somebody who's fed up with George. Um, but, you know, as you can see here, you know, WNFT has entered an agreement with Forley for W, where for will purchase done a few warrants um, and the purchase 5 million warrant shares at 32 cents a share. So, you know, looking at the chart, you know, we're sitting down here at five cents, you know, 057. So that does give and still some confidence, you know, saying, hey, look, there's a good chance, you know, that George Sharp is going to want his money back. You know, his company's putting, you know, warrants on this at 32 cents a share. So, you know, it, it could have huge value leading into the future. Now, of course, you know, there's always that risk, you know, there's that speculation and so forth. But you know, looking at this, this is their company Twitter. You know, the first step in the classy appeal is a you know the settlement conference scheduled for August 11th. WNFT is determined not to give Mr. Classy any reward for his participation. And da da da, he's an SEC fraud and so forth. So I, I would post a couple of George's tweets up here, but he recently blocked me after many many years, which is such a bummer because I really enjoyed his antics. Um, but at the same time, you know, we could just. You know get it from others as well so george if you're listening just go ahead and hit that unblock button buddy thank you um so leading into the 11th you know has that huge gap to fill you know as you can see here this thing was upwards of 25 cents and then it gapped down to five cents so you know if we can close that gap i mean that can be a huge gainer you know if you're going long in the stock you know what have you but you know this one i'm definitely holding for a little while i can't believe the deal i got um you know it had a lot of selling pressure but as you can see on friday uh, it actually closed green you know up where it's near almost high of day accumulation is starting to nose up so keep an eye on that one you know, I know some people that aren't entering yet, you know, they're kind of waiting this week to see how it simmers down, you know, just to really make sure selling has dried up. Um, but, you know, we'll see what George can bring to that. You know, the with the court date going into the 11th, you know, it's the dude's already been denied twice, you know, basically saying, hey, you know, get out of here. You're a fraud. Um, so I don't think this one will go any different. But of course, there is that risk. So, you know, use your own judgment you know, use your own risk management and so forth. So just wanted to cover that one today. We'll cover it a little bit more and I expect it to climb leading up into court. I actually bet a friend of mine that'll be, uh, you know, over a certain price. I won't say that leading into court. So hope I won or win, you know, I want to check that out. So the next one I'm going to talk about is XALL. Um, so as you can see here, it's been riding the 8MA all the way up, all the way up. Um, and it's having some trouble up here around 007. Now, you know, if it can break through that on good news or what have you, you know, it can really go for that penny break. But, you know, just because it's been riding, if you're looking to enter, you know, as you can see, we have a cross coming here right around 005. So it should have good support. Um, and I think it wicked down what uh, into the fours a couple times because it is a good share structure. It's a low float. You know, as you can see here, it's under 500 mil. You know, the market cap's under 10. Um, so any stock that's under 10 mil market cap to me has tons of room for growth. But, you know, as you can see here, the company, you know, this month will demonstrate how some of the business puzzle pieces fit together through a series of announcements prior to filing our quarter two report later this month. And as you can see, our, our buddy here, Robot, you know, is all over this one. Hey, any hints? Um, 
But you know they've they've been talking about you know different sets of news. You know fintech. You know quarter three. Uh, they came down here. They you know you see San Diego, and then um, what do they say? You know operating profits were four times higher in quarter one than they were last year. So this company definitely has some stuff going for it. I want them to be a little bit more communicative on Twitter. You know just kind of say hey this is our roadmap. This is what we're looking for. That way it keeps investor interest. But you know, just looking at the chart, you know, it's been riding the 8MA, it looks good. You know, if you can get into some fours, that might be a good deal, you know, even if it wicks down and you catch a few. But, you know, let's see what kind of news they are going to bring. Um, but just keep an eye on that one. And then, um, all right, so the next one we're going to cover is VXIT. So this is a blast from the past. This thing, you know, hit, what, 12 cents last year, last 18 months. Um, you know, I got pushed hard, you know, saying, hey, acquisitions, big merger, you know, all kinds of stuff. And then it just bled down. Nobody cared about it and so forth. But they've basically come back alive um, saying, hey, you know, we have a lot of stuff in the pipeline. So I'll pull it up here, you know what june 28th in new york this week looking to close additional acquisitions for a v exit meeting investment bankers today then the day after please announce a new company website's coming and then what just a few days ago new york meetings went well vx writing up an loi with great opportunity out of israel we look forward to sharing details once signed the company continues its due diligence phase on several ventures and you know planning issues press releases throughout the second half of 2022 so you know, and then if you look at the chart here, the accumulation is rock solid on this thing. That's what really I like about it. So it had a lot of volume grouping here, and then um, as you can see here, it you know it had a red day and so forth, but volume or accumulation is still strong. So I don't see any current signs of dilution. Um, but you know, as the the chart shapes up, you know, we'll see how it goes. But you know, popped all the way up. You know, it's going to start flagging here a little bit. Um, as you can see, it's see 200 MA 0039. We did have one wick down there, two wicks in the past, you know, a week or two. Um, so if you're really looking to accumulate this one, you know, if it were me, I'd sit probably around 37, 38. Um, but we also don't know how long that LOI is going to take. But once it does come, the stock should explode. So, you know, definitely keep an eye on that one. These are the ones that I like to accumulate, you know, decent share structures, active management, you know, accumulation strong. So, you know, if you can get any of the 30s, great, you know, whatever. But definitely keep an eye on that one. Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't tell you what to buy and what not to buy. But I'll definitely be accumulating this one slowly as it develops. So next one I'm going to talk about is GXXY. Uh, this thing has just been a monster. Um, so, you know, I was late to the party. You know, I saw it pop up. I think it hit 20 cents and I was like, oh, wow. You know, I'll see if I can grab a dip. And I did. I grabbed 12s. You know, I had some bids in because it is a very low float, small share structure. You have that opportunity to catch some wicks down below. So, as you know, we saw last week, you know, wick down into what, 11s. And then it closed a little bit higher, wick down in a 16 range. So, you know, if you are looking to add, you know, this is one definitely I wouldn't go through just slapping unless they had crazy news. Um, but, you know, I'd sit probably around this 20 range, maybe 18, you know, if we see another wick. But, you know, there are a lot of really good traders on this one. And, you know, the share structure held at DTC, 3 million, unrestricted 12 million. So the float is somewhere between 3 and 12. Um, you know, I looked at level 2, and I don't think it's 3. I think it's a little bit heavier, um, unless, you know, people are just putting some trims on and, um, you know, they're selling some shares. But, you know, it looked a little crowded. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it looks great. And then, you know, basically putting what the company said here, you know, the CEO management team is working very hard and looking forward to sharing significant updates. And then, um, you know, our team has been working diligently over the past months to put in place several important deals we feel will provide value to GXXY shareholders. These deals will be released throughout the several press releases over the next few weeks. So that was July 15th. So between now and August, maybe, you know, later into the third quarter, um, they might really, really you know get going um and based on the share structure of it if it is three million you know this thing could hit dollars i mean easy um so keep an eye on that one you know see what they are going to bring out but you know i'm going to put up here too so this is cole you know he put out a ton of good dd on it you know gxy due diligence so definitely check out his post um he goes over you know what their aims are you know who the management team is you know what they're looking what they're focused on and so forth um so definitely check out his thread if you are looking to add um but yeah i mean i that one's cool i really like that one you know could be a big one and then the next one i'm going to talk about today is hdup hdup 
I love this stock. I really do. It's one of my longs I would consider in the OTC, and I just slowly accumulate it. I'm not just going to go in and go, oh, I bought a million shares. You know, get some profits, throw it at H up because of what they've been doing. You know, looking at the chart, accumulation strong. You know, as we can see here, we got a wedge forming, and then, um, you know, let's see their latest press release. Uh, this is substantial. So, blah, 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 where is it? Okay. So their latest acquisition, this is a substantial step for, you know, accumulating business plan, these crown jewel assets, and I'll go ahead and let you read this. It's one of their four strategic business units uh, with heads up growth of companies, da 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 da. Um, so they're basically going to generate over 51 million in revenues in year one with their business plan projections and upwards of 400 million by year five. Um, and then they basically want to uplist the NASDAQ. So they, this one is really cool, you know, I just, you know, what they've been putting out is just crazy to me. You know, look in the charts, a nice wedge. You know, it's having trouble around this 12 range. Um, it hasn't had enough volume really to push it through. But, you know, if we go here to their tweet, here's a big heads up on the H Dup heads up. Management shares today that the closing sequence of its major acquisitions has begun. Releases on multiple contract signings and the sequential process of closing will be out very soon. Stay tuned. Um, so, you know, everybody's really excited about that, including Rocky Stock Yonder down here. Everybody, you know, really want to see what their acquisition is going to be. You know, we're hearing big things. Is it going to be Spinola? You know, is it going to be lottery based? Um, so if they put big projections on that, this thing is just going to fly. Um, you know, looking back at the chart here. Um, you know, recently on news, it's hit 16, 17, 16, 15, you know, 13, 14. So, you know, if you can scoop around 10 cents, you know, this could be a good long, you know, if you want to swing it a little bit longer. But, you know, they are building a huge company. Um, so I really like that one. So keep an eye on that, you know, going through their lottery hub and so forth. Read all their recent press releases. I mean, they have so many. It's just been bizarre. Uh, so they're really getting after it. Uh, so the last one we're going to talk about today is TXTM. So this was a huge, huge stock, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago. And you know us, we like, or you know me, I like to buy dips. Um, so this thing just ran all the way up, up into the two range from what, 002, you know, 1000% in no time. And it has tapered off some, you know, accumulation has starting to nose up even on a couple red days. Um, so I put here, you know, 004 is the 75 MA, which has had a couple wicks below it. And then we're kind of jumbled here between 04 and 006. So, and a lot of, you know, I'd say shareholders have been pretty upset saying, hey, you know, you guys haven't put anything out as far as news, you know, what's going on, you know, they've been quiet. And, you know, things like this take time. They announce the merger. They're not just going to go through and start saying, hey, here we are. You know, you're all millionaires. Um, so, you know, definitely follow their Twitter. But it was nice because, let's see, today, you know, they had, hey, here's the African Summit. You know, go ahead and check this out. And I'll post the video down at the end. And then good luck to our team today. And then, um, let's see here. Uh, the true leaf patience is a virtue so this is what I like so especially on the weekend you know you're holding you're buying dips and it says patience is a virtue get excited this range is beyond incredible and like nothing the market has ever seen stay tuned positive vibes only so it's nice to see the company come back alive saying hey we are here here's the summit you know we're excited you know they're going through all their new products um, and then we'll post the video here I'll let you guys watch this. And it basically says, you know, hey, this is what we are. You know, we're this is our company. This is what we're aiming for. They have big projections. You know, they want to bring in assets and so forth. So I like this one, especially in the you know. Grab some 30s, grab some 40s, or you know, 50s, whatever. You know, I started buying around 50s, and then it broke support. I actually gapped down. I was like, "What is going on?" And I think people just, you know, were upset that they just weren't communicating. So, you know, keep an eye on that one. Uh, but you know, I'll go through and finish this video that the day actually put up for the video, presentation.
they've been working on tons of products. And, you know, they said global. So if they start getting good, you know, partnership deals, global deals, you know, this thing could just blast off into the solar system. Um, so I really like that one. You know, I, I think it's fun. I think they have, you know, the tribe. Um, so I like what they're doing. And, um, you know, I've been buying dips and, you know, we'll see where it leads. And then, uh, but yeah, so that's basically all I'm going to cover today. Um, so we talked about a few stocks, you know, a few good ones that, you know, could just be explosive, a few that are good to buy dips on and a few that have upcoming news. Um, so definitely subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.